Welcome to Storytime with Teacher Matthew. Today's book is The Great Snail Race by Nickelodeon, Scholastic, and SpongeBob SquarePants. The Great Snail Race. It was a sunny morning in Bikini Bottom. A mailman knocked on Squidward's front door. Ah, said Squidward. I can't believe it's finally here. The mailman glanced at Skidward's signature. Uh, thank you, Mr. Um, tennis balls? That's tentacles, corrected Squidward. Hey, check out Squidward's new snail, said Patrick. Looks like Gary has a new playmate, said SpongeBob. Squidward rolled his eyes. I wouldn't let Snelly here play with your mongrel mutt, see? Snelly even has her own pedigree papers, so if you'll excuse us, she has to start her training for a Bikini Bottom snail race. She'll be winning this Saturday. Well, I guess I can't enter Gary into that. Sunday's laundry day, Squidward sighed. You can't enter Gary because Gary isn't a purebred, but Snelly has papers. He showed him the fancy document towards Spongebob. Hmm, property of Skidward. Tent poles. That's tentacles. Patrick, are you thinking what I'm thinking at Spongebob? Yeah, I should get a snail and enter that race and beat Squidward. No, no, no. I'm thinking of entering Gary in that race and beating Squidward's snail. SpongeBob had a lot of work to do to whip Gary into shape. First, he made a nutritional smoothie for his snail. Meow, said Gary. Uh, well, of course I expect you to eat this, said SpongeBob. It's scientifically designed to help you win tomorrow. Gary took one look at the drink and slithered out of the room. Patrick came over to show Spongebob his new snail. Your snail's a rock, said Spongebob. Yeah, I know. He's got nerves of steel. See you at the race. Spongebob realized the competition was getting fierce. Spongebob blew his whistle. Let's start with some sprints. On your mark, get set, go. Gary barely moved. Come on, Gary. You've got to start training if you're going to win. Just then, Squidward peeked in. Don't waste your breath, Spongebob. That mongrel of yours doesn't have a chance, Squidward said confidently. All right, Gary, no more fooling around. Come on, move it up, 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 down, down, down. Faster, faster, faster. Go, go, go. The day of the race finally appeared. Well, Spongebob, I didn't think your mongrel mutt would even find the starting line, snickered Squidward. Congratulations. Save it for the loser circle, said Spongebob. Gary happens to be in the best shape of his life. Gary coughed and wheezed. Spongebob gave Gary his final pep talk. Listen up. You're the undersnail. Everybody's... Already counting on you. So, get out there and win. Meow. On your mark. Get set. Slither. And off they go. Number six, Nelly. Rockets out of the starting box, leaving the other two competitors in the dust. Go, Snelly. You got it, baby. Squid SpongeBob was not having the same luck. Gary hadn't budged from the starting gate. What are you doing? The race has started. Let's go. Start moving. You're blowing everything we trained for. Patrick Snell was also at the starting line. It's okay, Rocky. You can go when you feel like it. Gary slowly began to move. He panted heavily as he trudged in. Not good enough, shouted his coach. Faster! The more Spongebob yelled, the faster Gary tried to go, but it was no use. Gary was exhausted. 
That coach is pushing that snail too hard, said the announcer. Suddenly, Gary's bloodshot eyes popped like a tire. It looked like number seven has a blowout, said the announcer shortly after Gary's other eye blew. Make that two, folks, said the announcer. Uh, Gary, you can stop now, said SpongeBob. Gary began to spin out of control, and he headed for the wall. Bam! The crowd gasped. No! Hold on, Gary, I'm coming. SpongeBob raced to Gary's side. One of the coaches had raced onto the track. It was an automatic disqualification. Looks like number six has this race all wrapped up, ladies and gentlemen, said the announcers. Come on, Snelly, it's all you. Oh, Gary, cried SpongeBob. Why didn't you just say I was pushing you too hard? Meow. You did? Oh, Gary, why didn't you tell me? Why wasn't I listening? Meow. You did, oh, Gary, we hailed Spongebob. Suddenly, Squidward's price nail stopped racing. She turned to look at Gary and then rushed to his side. The two snails looked into each other's eyes and purred. My, oh, my, folks, I've never seen anything quite like it. It seems Snelly, the leader, just went back to comfort Gary. Looks like you and me are in-laws, eh, Squidward, said Spongebob. The crowd cheered as the winner crossed the finish line. But that's impossible, said Squidward. If Snelly didn't win, then who did? The winner is Rocky. The crowd went wild. Patrick started to laugh until he cried. My purebred, which cost me $1,700, lost to a rock. Patrick rushed to Squidward's side. Don't worry, Squidward. I know how much you wanted to win. So I made a trophy engraved to you. Squidward took the trophy in his tentacles. Gosh, Patrick, thanks. He looked at the black and read out loud, The first place snail racing cup presented to Squidward Tortellini. Patrick and Spongebob happily put their arms around their friend. Will I ever win? grumbled Squidward. Today I want to know. Who were you rooting for in the great snail race?